All right, how's everybody doing? Good? Good. Yeah. So I just want to start off by uh, talking about a couple things. Uh, you know, Justin Fields, you know, when Brian and I were at my house uh, calling him, um, obviously a very uh, difficult decision uh, that we had to make, uh, but we thought it was, uh, you know, the right decision for everybody involved. And, uh, you know, Justin and I had built a relationship over the last two years, and I just told, wished him the best and told him that I love him, and, uh, you know, we'll continue our friendship. You know, if everyone wants to call or, or visit, you know, we'll, we'll definitely do that, but uh, that was really the extent of the conversation. Uh, we thought it was also key that we called some uh, key leaders of our team uh, just to make sure we uh, communicate well, um, like we always do, and uh, we did that, and the guys understood. You know, they understand the profession. And uh, so that was a really good thing that we did. Um, you know, so and then moving on to free agency, we really feel that uh, the acquisitions that we've had so far have been outstanding. You know, obviously the main topic is we added all the skill, you know, a lot of skill to the offense. You know, so the weapons, you know, at running back with Swift and on the outside with Keenan and, you know, Everett at tight end, you know, paired with uh, DJ and, you know, and Cole are, are going to be uh, uh, tough to cover. And it's going to be uh, exciting to watch and how we put those guys together. Uh, offensive staff has been working, you know, diligently uh, to put their scheme in. Of course, you know, uh, with uh, Shane and and Simo and Thomas, and, you know, all those guys are a really uh, important uh, part of that. So, um, and I've been involved in that as well. So that's uh, important that we put those pieces in the right in the right spots. Um, you know, and then obviously, you know, Kevin uh, being back there at the uh, safety position is going to be big for our secondary, you know. So, you know, the loss of Eddie uh, in the communication skills and, and, the, and the playmaking skills back there are going to be, uh, you know, really good with Kevin back there because he's obviously been a ball hawk guy. He's had 28 uh, interceptions in his career, and uh, we're excited about that acquisition, and uh, um, I'm excited about working with him. Um, you know, I spend time with those guys, the – each free agent when they come in and and the draft guys that come in but the free agents have spent about 45 minutes to an hour just really talking to them about the foundation that we laid um the first two years um how we operate in the building um you know how we're respectful and how we work hard you know in the, in the, in the parameters of how we work hard uh, and uh you know get to know them and their stories and their journey you know that's important for us to do that as we onboard um, all these new guys, you know, I think it might have been what 15 or 16 new guys that, that are coming in, and then obviously the four picks that we have, um, you know, you know, coming into the draft. So that's a, that's an exciting time for us. I'm most excited about uh, April 15. You know, so to me, this is a great time of year. You know, of course, you know when your evaluation of your scheme right after the year, and you know, obviously we had to we hired a, you know, an offensive staff this year. That was that was unique for us, but uh, I thought we did a nice job there, but. And then evaluation of the talent, you know, in the draft, in free agency. I like that part, but uh, what I love is when the players come back. Um, and this is going to be a critical, you know, nine or ten weeks in the off season before we go to summer break. Um, so that's uh, it's going to be fun to be able to bring those guys together. And I said it last year, the most important part that we have, you know, besides scheme right there is relationships. You know, so we're going to do a great job of – you know, intermixing the team to make sure that uh, that we get to know each other on a personal level and a deeper level just than football, um, because I think that's the glue that holds you together. The steel that is 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 the middle of of your football team is uh, is the relationship piece of it, and uh, the team changes every year, and you got to do it every year. Um, like John Wooden says, you know, you got to lace your uh, put your socks on and lace up your shoes every single year, and, and we're excited about getting that started. So. Uh, with that, I'll open up to questions. There's obviously a lot of momentum building towards using the number one pick on a quarterback. You guys have spent a lot of time with Caleb here in the last month and a half. What have you learned about him personally in your time with him? Yeah, it was a really good visit um, out to USC in the pro day. You know, we went to dinner the night before uh, with several of the players um, um, on the USC team that are, that are draft eligible, and it was uh, great to see him interact. Uh, you know, the great personality, um, great character. Um, you can see that easily during the uh, during the dinner, and then the next day we spent some time, uh, you know, doing the football uh, knowledge and all those things. But I, I started out uh, about an hour and twenty minutes, just him and I, in the room together, and just really hearing his journey. You know, his journey, you know, from being a little guy, um, and you know, and what I gleaned from that was how was uh, it was his mother and father love him uh, very much and uh, very supportive. 
and you know you could see his character, um, his football character there, his football knowledge as I talked through that, and uh, yeah, it's, it was it was a really good visit. And he comes into the building in Lake Forest soon. What are, are the, the boxes you want to check, or the things you want to learn there in that next phase? Yeah, we'll just continue on uh, some of the install that we installed there uh, in the pro day. We'll just keep uh, continuing on uh, on that journey. You know teaching him more of the offense and then, you know, having to give it back to us and, and see where he is that way. And he's been great that way. And, uh, again, spend some more time uh, visiting with him. And, uh, you know, he'll get a chance to spend some more time with the offensive staff, you know, that, that, that wasn't there at the pro day. And uh, it's going to be good. Ryan was telling us yesterday, <clears throat> excuse me, that when they go back, the front office is going to break up into teams and kind of war game out. Hey, do we need an edge rusher with the number nine pick? Do we need – an offensive tackle, do we need a wide receiver? Will you guys have any part of that discussion? And how do you view those three needs that you have? Uh, uh, yeah. Where you sit? Yeah, that's great. It's, it's, you know, obviously having the number nine pick is a really a good spot to be in. You know, it's it's right there at the top and, and we're going to get a blue player there for sure. And, you know, what's uh, what we've done in free agency it allows us to be flexible there, uh, to be able to really take the best player that we feel fits for us in that spot. You know, so, uh, you know, breaking up into pods or teams, we, we will certainly be part of that. And uh, that's an exciting time because, we, you know, we're going to look at, hey, who's the best tackle? Who's the best receiver? Who's the best rusher? Who's who's the best this, you know, and that. So it's going to be good uh, to be able to break into that and see guys' opinions. You know, because, you know, in order to have good communication, um, it's got to be authentic and it's got to be true and you got to be able to speak your opinion. Number nine is kind of unique where you might have eight offensive guys go first and you may have the opportunity to take your top defensive player on the board at nine. How do you evaluate taking guys and say, maybe he's my second or third best receiver, but this guy is my number one D tackle or my number one edge. How do you kind of evaluate and place importance on those things? Yeah, that's a great question, Herb. I would say that uh, we, we do that by doing the pods. So we get the pods ready to go and then we put who's at top there. Um, at, at each of those positions, and then you go across lateral, okay, this way, and make it, and then you rank them that way. So hey, this guy helps our team better. This guy helps, you know, this way. And it's all to me about always, you know, either affecting the quarterback or helping the quarterback. So uh, it comes down to those two questions. You have a high draft pick, and the amount of resources you guys have already poured into Caleb Williams, some other top quarterbacks. Is there a way? to find out how that player is going to interact with maybe some of your key leaders on the team and getting their input on on that player before you draft him. Is there a way that you guys are going about doing that? Yeah, um, yeah you always talk about that, but it's important that, uh, you know, he gets to know uh, the people in the building, you know, for sure. Um, that, that's an important piece to it. And then, you know, if you can have some interaction there, that's always great, you know, to be able to do that. So I know that the players on our team uh, that we have are – understand how we operate in the building and how we go about our business. And uh, that's always good to hear from those players. Matt, have it, have it okay. When you called some of those players after the Justin Fields trade, like what was those conversations like, especially with some of those players like DJ Moore, who were very close with with Justin, like take us into those conversations. Yeah, so uh, just being uh, upfront and honest, you know, it's just talking to them and say, hey, this is, this is where it was. Uh, both sides thought that Pittsburgh was was the place for him to be successful, um, and we understand that. And I just want to let you know ahead of time. You know, it's hard to do because when the news hits, it's you know they've already heard it. So I'm always you know a little bit behind on that. But uh, um, yeah, just being upfront and honest with those guys, and they appreciated that. You know, every 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 guy every guy that I talked to said, really, Coach, I really appreciate you reaching out and and, and you know let me know ahead of time and. Uh, and, and so that was it. Is every conversation a bit different, or is it maybe same duration? Any, any questions? From uh, no, not really different. No, they were all just appreciative of, of the communication. Yeah. You coached against Keenan several times. Uh, what do you appreciate about what he's going to bring for your offense? Yeah, just uh, his situational uh, excellence. You know, he's been great in situations. You know, when you got to make have a play, uh, and, and he can make that play. You know, he's been great on third down, great in two minute, great in critical situations. Um, you know, he's uh, what a discipline and, uh, and a, just a master at a, a route runner. Um, you know, and he has the ability to, to be open and stay open, you know, with his body. So he understands how to do that. Matt, a big part of your responsibility, sorry, a, big, a big part of your responsibility will be setting up sort of the developmental launching pad 
for the quarterback with what you've done staff wise and with your own knowledge what gives you confidence about about taking on a, a new quarterback and, and then kind of elevating them yeah it's, it's just really about just going through the process of it and uh, you know working through with the coaches um, and, and setting everything up for him so you know when we're going to install things um, offense and defense they have to be tied together to make sure that we're um, understanding how we're uh, moving uh, the quarterback and, and the offense in the right direction. And I think that's always important to do. Um, and that's not unique. Um, that's something that I've always done. Um, you know, so that, that's a big part of it. You know, and then really just the, the development side and the leadership side. You know, that's going to be a big uh, thing that, that Shane and I are, are working with the quarterback because obviously he's the apex of the offense. And that's going to be